In Fox 5 Health News, the CDC issues a measles alert saying cases in just the first three months of this year are now equal to all of the cases in 2023. All right, joining us now, Fox 5 medical contributor Dr. Debbie Nampier Prample from NYU School of Medicine. All right, let's talk about it. Obviously, mm -hmm. people aren't keeping up with the vaccinations, right? Yes, so that's part of it. I mean, there could be different reasons, right? So first, uh, there's a lot more hesitancy about vaccines in general and some skepticism. So that's part of it. Also, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, because of the lockdown and all of the different things that were going on, even people who were interested in getting the vaccine might have been slowed down and being able to do that. And we're still seeing the effects of that. Mm -hmm. So right now, just to reassure people, it's not that the number of cases is skyrocketed. It's just that the number of cases is increasing for a virus that we thought we'd beaten. Right. There were no yeah. cases that were occurring within the U.S. before. Uh, but now there seem to be a couple different things that could be going on. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be that as things opened up, people are traveling more to other yeah. countries, getting exposed to the unvaccinated. That's what it looks like, according mm -hmm. to the official. And 93% have been linked to international travel. Exactly. So, so that's um, officially. So that's mm -hmm. probably what's going on. But there's a lot of data that we don't have, uh, perhaps like from... Uh, migrants and other things. So there are mm -hmm. people who might be unvaccinated, but then is it the city that's going to vaccinate them? Yeah, if yeah. we stay on this course, I mean, what's the worst case scenario end of this year? Well, so the numbers might continue to increase, and this is a highly contagious disease. So it's not that it's necessarily so dangerous for everybody. It might not be. Usually people have cold-like symptoms. Uh. It's more recognizable because you could have a rash that goes starts at the head and then kind of goes down. But because it's so contagious, if you have just a few people get it, they can easily spread it to yeah. others who are either unvaccinated or have been vaccinated and have decreased immunity. Gotcha. So you want to make sure that you are yeah. vaccinated. Yeah, Probably. makes sense. Sure. All right, well, online sales start for Opel, the first over-the-counter birth control right now. Opel is only available through the company's website and Amazon. This is a big deal. Yeah, I think this is huge. Mm -hmm. I actually think it's great for women to be able to have access. Well, for all people, actually, uh, when it comes to contraception, it's good for people, but also for a whole host of medical problems. I mean, people use birth control to manage endometriosis pain. I'm a pain management specialist, so I mm -hmm. see it for that. People with migraines also use birth control pills. So there's a lot of things that, you know, you can benefit from having hormonal regulation. Uh, for people to be able to get it more easily, that improves the access to care. Of course, you know, whenever you do things in a big way, you can have good and bad effects, too. One of the things is that in the past, people would see their doctor, right, in mm -hmm. order to get uh, the birth control prescription. Now, if you don't see the ob or the pr primary care, if that was the main reason that you were seeing them. Mm -hmm. You might not go to the appointments. Exactly. Yeah. And certain things might be missed because maybe people have other medical conditions that... Uh, you know, they shouldn't necessarily be on birth control pills for, and also there might be some contraindications, like if somebody has a breast cancer history or something, mm -hmm. you've got to be careful. Uh, but overall, I think it's a good thing. Uh, and this particular pill works, it's progestin only, so it doesn't have estrogen in it, which decreases some of the risks, but it works a different way. It, it doesn't necessarily inhibit mm -hmm. ovulation, mm -hmm. but it changes the cervical mucus and yeah. changes the lining. Very interesting. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Well, speculation.